what's happening guys so once again you know i i did the last video on this channel and um you guys know now that i have for those of you that watched the last video you guys know i have a new mic um i might have some new viewers in this video particularly so i just want to say you guys can please let me know how the sound is and the sound quality is in this video because like i said i got a new mic for this channel and it's a it's an expensive mic it, it should be good let's hope let's hope it is so you guys just let me know throughout this video how the sound quality is and let me get into this video so guys nothing in this world it nothing goes unseen i'm telling you now you will get what you rightfully deserve in life for being who you are and for doing what you do now, if you do bad things, you cannot expect good things to happen. Although sometimes a bad person might do bad things. And it might seem like maybe a little bit of good things are happening to them, but really, their downfall is coming. Their downfall is coming down the line. And for the people that stay in their own lane, and they do not do others wrong, you might feel not so blessed in the moment right now. That's how you might feel right now. But your blessings are coming. Your blessings are coming in the future. And it's exactly what's going to happen. It might take years. It might take years for things to go your way. And... You know, you have to keep fighting, keep battling, because if you don't do that, you may never get those years. Or it may take or it might take twice as long, three times as long. And you know, you want what you deserve when you want what you deserve. You, you want it when it, you want it now. But you don't always get what you want either. But you will get what you want by working harder, by doing better and by, by doing better things and by doing the good things. You're not gonna get it sooner, I'll tell you that, for 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 doing bad things, by doing people wrong. Because God sees every single thing that you do. And the fact that God sees everything that you do makes it sure. That your karma is going to be good or it's going to be bad. And God knows even the people that have done you wrong, that have done you dirty. He knows things. He's seen it. And karma is coming for them. Karma is near. You are not safe if you were running around this world doing people dirty thinking you're going to get away with that. Because you're not. And it's never going to get you good. You know what? Some people have to go through certain circumstances in life where it's like... <clears throat> you might have to go through some tough things. And I feel... When you can go through tough things... And not do other people wrong or do other people dirty. And you can just stay a good person. And, and go through your shit the way you're supposed to. And keep doing good things in, that mo in, in those moments... That's when really good things will happen because, and I know that to be true because there have been some things that have been done to me, let me tell you that. And I did not retaliate, I did not take things out on other people, I did not do things I shouldn't have done. I did the right things. I did good things even when bad things were happening to me. And I kept doing good things and I kept doing good things and I kept doing good things and focused on myself stayed in positive energy and did everything I could in my power just to be the best person I could be no matter what my circumstances were like because this world is crazy guys this world is truly crazy and I've been in some of the worst circumstances ever that I never ever imagined I'd be in like I was literally in positions in life where it's like I never thought I just never seen myself being here right now with what I currently have. 
I'm not talking about right now. I'm talking about this is how I felt once upon a time. The age I'm at, what I have, where I'm at, I just, it's unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Like, I just cannot believe this. How could this be happening to me? And sometimes it's hard to see over that hump of where you're currently at. And it's tough. But you have to keep believing in God and you have to keep pushing forward and you have to keep doing what you're doing. You have to keep doing the right things is what you have to do. Because if you don't do the right things, like I said, you may never get what you rightfully deserve and what you want. And I feel a lot of people do weak things and take weak actions whenever things are just not going great. And you can't do that. You have to be strong. You have to be much stronger than that. You have to be stronger than your excuses. You have to be stronger than everything. You Like, where there's a will, there's a way. You have to find a way. You have to will your way into whatever you can do. You have to do everything you can do with what you currently have, with where you're currently at, is what you have to do. That's what I always did. And things were not always good for me. And no, like, there are people still in this world that, that have suffered far greater than I have. There are still people in this world who are starving right now. I never went hungry. That's not something I ever lacked, was the ability to, to get myself food and to put food on my plate. But I did lack a lot of things. I just felt purpose purposeless at one point. I felt just lost. I felt like I had so much talent and intelligence and the ability to do just damn near anything in life. But it's like, I just didn't even know where to start, what to do. Like, you feel like you might be at a point where it's like you can't even make a decision because you just feel like it's not going to even work. And what I say to that is just make a decision. Just do something that you know is possible. Just do something that you really know that you can do. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. What matters is what you think and what you feel. That's the only thing that matters. The greatest things that have come in this world is what people thought about themselves is what people knew about themselves. It's what people thought in their mind and, and put it into, into light. They, they put it into action, what they thought in their own mind. They put that out there. That's where the gold came. From every successful person you've ever seen. They, 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 they weren't always given away. They, they weren't always, okay, told by somebody else, do this, do this, do this. And then all of a sudden they become successful. Most people thought of something themselves and took action and did something that wasn't even heard of once upon a time. Elon Musk created Teslas. Nobody did that. You know what I mean? Like people think of ideas themselves and put it out there and it's genius. So there's, there's literally anything you could do. There's anything possible in this world to bring to light, to just, you can do anything. It's, it's the point I'm trying to get here. Anything. And, <clears throat> you know, you, you have to be willing to go through anything as well. You have to be willing to, like from all the bad things that might have happened to you, like that is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. There's, I feel where I was at in my life, and I, I just want to see if you guys can relate to this, but it's like, I feel everything piled on top of me at once, and I overcame. Bad relationships, bad friends, bad family, people turning their backs on me left, right, and center for no reason for no good reason at all 
like people just change like I had it so good at one point and it's like everything just hit me out at once everything and then I don't know what to do with my life and it's like I can't believe this is happening type shit like what in the fuck just happened and it's unbelievable and then you overcome because you can overcome anything with a strong mind and it's what a lot of people can't do because I know a lot of these average people out there you know what they do they look for something else they look for somebody else they look for other people I easily could have got weak and looked for another person some cute girl to, to start a life within the family with because I don't even know what to do with myself so what am I going to do I'm just going to go grab a hold of some girl I can settle less for she might be cute you can, you can, you can do this you know what I mean I had opportunities to do shit like that and I did not do that. I stayed focused on myself. I did what I knew I needed to do. I went down my own path. And I didn't look around. What what can I leech onto? Like what can I grab onto? And I know a lot of a lot of weak guys out there today. That's exactly what they're doing. And just because you're in a relationship, let me make this clear, it doesn't mean you're weak. But like to be in that position that I was in, to really have nothing going on, nothing going for me, and then to just want to like look for a relationship partner so I can avoid my own life and then be with her and then just do whatever, live an average life and be average and not do anything. That would that that would have been the weakest shit I could have done. Weakest shit ever. And trust me, I easily could have settled. And yes, for some cute girl too, but it's like, <clears throat> there's better than just some cute girl. You know what I mean? There's, there's better than that. I know my worth. I'm not stupid. I know my worth. And just some cute girl is not going to cut it. And I, like, it's just not going to cut it. Some cute girl that don't even have a good, have a good head on her shoulders herself. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's, uh, that's what I'm trying to get to here. It's not going to cut it. And of course, there's nothing wrong with a cute girl. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> but looks aren't everything. And I know I'm not going to end up with some just average cute girl at a young age and some, some one, one of these girls that wants to get pregnant real early and then do all this shit and then things end up being toxic and, you know, it's just not... Not happening. <clears throat> I was strong as an ox during my times. And I just, I, I hope nothing's being misunderstood here. I hope you guys are understanding where I'm coming from 100%. I'm trying to explain to the best of my ability, but, you know, there's always people too that's going to misunderstand you. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, it is what it is, but... I'm just trying to get you guys to understand here how strong you actually have to be. And it's like, even when I say I could have settled for less, like, I don't want you guys thinking it, it, if I'm settling for less, it's going to be some some sort of schmuck or something like this, there's still a cute girl I could have latched onto is what I'm trying to say here. And that's not what, that, that is not, it's not gonna cut it. There's better than just that for me out there is what I'm saying. There always was, there always will be. And it ain't gonna come easy. And you think I'm going to get that by settling? Sticking my dick and sticking some cute girl and, and getting her pregnant and doing all this dumb shit and having a toxic family? Because she doesn't even know who she is. I don't even know who I am because I didn't even take the time to grow. We just did it to do it. We, we just did it to do it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Fuck that. And you know what? 
a lot of these cute young girls that, that decide to do this, and I know guys who got with these girls and got them pregnant, they're not so cute anymore. They're not even so cute anymore because they let themselves go so fast and so early in life, and now they have, like, no value. That's what I'm trying to say here. It's high value everything for me, and I'm not saying it's all about looks. It's all about mindset. Do you, do you guys think these types of girls have strong minds? And are stable? No, absolutely not. Everything got to be on point with me. Everything. And if it's not like that, you're settling for less. If you're not like that, you're, you're settling yourself for less. You have to be on point. You have to take care of your damn self. You have to take damn care of everything about yourself. Everything matters. Your appearance, it does matter. It's not everything, but it matters to a certain extent. Your finances, it's not everything. You don't have you don't have to be a billionaire, but it matters to a certain extent. Your social skills, it matters to a certain extent. You don't gotta be Mr. Les Brown, but it matters to a certain extent. You see what I mean here? You gotta be well rounded. You gotta be on point with just about everything. Then you'll end up getting what you deserve. And you will like what you get because you did the work on yourself and you're going to get somebody else that did the work on their self. And it's not going to be easy because most people in this world do not do that. Those are the people that are easy to get and they're still pretty good looking people, some people, that are in that category. And like I said, to me, it's just not going to cut it. Because one of those types of people would have easily took a guy like me very quick. And I didn't do it because I know what it's going to. I know what this shit is. No way. It's not happening. So, <clears throat> but anyways, before I want to end this video, I just want to say and get back to the true meaning of this topic. <sighs> when bad things really do happen to you, right? God sees what goes on. Do not question him. Do not question yourself. Do not question your current circumstances in life. Do not question anything. Don't question it. Like you can question it. You, you can, you're supposed to question certain things, and you should have questions, but you shouldn't completely doubt yourself or completely doubt where you are because that's not even something I did. I didn't doubt. But it's still, I'm questioning, like, what is going on right now? I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to completely doubt myself, but like, what is going on right now? Like, things should not be this bad, but it is. So I got to start to find some, some more solutions here to, to what's happening, which is what I did. So it's what you have to do. You got to stay positive. You got to keep pushing on. And you got to realize too that great things take time. Patience always wins in the end too. So stick to your guns. Be who you are. Do not do other people wrong or do other people dirty or be bad to other people because something bad happened to you. Just keep being who you really are to the best of your ability. And you might feel bitter or angry at certain times. You really got to channel that energy and you got to do your best. You just got to do your absolute best is what you have to do. So that's enough of this video guys. Once again, let me know how, how the sound quality is. I, I hope it's a lot better. I think it will be. It should be. That's for damn sure. For, for the amount of money that I spent on this on this video, Mike. But uh, anyways, I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos, guys. Until next time, peace out. <clears throat>